Hello, this is Alan Venturella again. This is the continuing course. This is lesson two on astronumerology. And of course, my name, when I did psychic work, was Alan V, which you can look up on the internet. Uh, the second part of what we're talking about is what we call the achievement. In order to find out what each individual's achievement is, you merely add your day of month to your day of birth, and you bring it to a single number by addition. I used to say you reduce it to a single number by addition, uh, and it, it kind of like uh, confused people. So if you were born on February the 2nd, uh, you would be a four. Two and two is four. If you were born on February the 23rd, you would be 23 and 2 is 25 and if you add the 2 and the 5 you bring it to its lowest addition which is a 7 so if the person uh, has a 7 achievement as we call it this is what they came in the world to deal with uh, to learn about things uh, to consider things uh, it could do with education it could do with learning it could deal with the spiritual or religious world or the philosophical world. Uh, it, and then we're going to eventually uh, show you how to determine uh, what cycle you're in this year or this month and how to put it into this chart, uh, which looks like a tic-tac-toe board. But each one of these is a house uh, and the numbers go into a house in accordance with the cycle that you're in. Uh, for instance, if, if you were born on February the 2nd in, nine, in 2016, uh, you would say that you're a four achievement because you had the month and the day, and you get a four uh, lowest figure when you add them together. And then you add it to uh, 2016, and you go 16 and 2 is 18, 18, equal, 1 and 8 equals 9. So you go 9 and 4, they, they would be in a, a 4 year. So they would be a 4 achievement in a 4 year. Uh, because 2016 uh, uh, reduces by addition uh, to its lowest factor, uh, it's an 18, uh, 9 year. So one and eight is nine. Uh, so if, if somebody were uh, a four achievement and they, they were in a four year because of 2016, they would start putting all their numbers in the four column. In other words, the one at this point represents self. And then all the twos that they have in, in the next column, which is five and six and seven and eight, and nine, and then you go back to one. So after you go around, you, you go back to the beginning. Uh, there's two factors when it comes to numbers that are to keep in mind. One is the achievement, which is what the world, what you came in this world to do or to learn, and the life path when you add up all your numbers and you come to one reduced number. In other words, you take your achievement as well as the year that you were born, because before we did 2016, which is the current year that when I started these uh, courses, but uh, when you take the year you were born, let's say it was 1946, it was a 22 uh, year, and if you had a, a four achievement, and a, a, it would make you a, a six life path because you would take your four achievement and your two year and add them together, and the lowest number by addition would be a six. And so you would put everything in the sixth house. And of course, we're going to uh, go through each house, what it means, and each set of achievements and what it means. And eventually, you'll be able to fill out a Kaishi situation in a, only a minute or two, and it's going to give you a lot of information. But you have to start somewhere. And once you get rolling, you're going to, roll with this pretty darn good, and you'll really be surprised at what you can get out of this. So this is lesson two.
of the Kaishi uh, Astro Numerology, uh, and it's the various houses, and uh, we're trying to give you the basis of it. The achievement is what you came in the world to learn how to do, and uh, the life path uh, is the foundation, uh, the 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 field that you'll be playing on. If you're a, a nine life path, uh, you 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 have to deal with the public, and you have to learn to let things go. Uh, if you're a, a one uh, life path, when you add up your day and month as well as your year, and you bring it down by addition to one number and it's a 1 or a 10 or a 28, which equals a 1 or whatever. Like I said, you're bringing it to the lowest number by addition. And if you're a 1, you have to learn to be an individual, to be a self-starter, to be independent, and uh, to let the sun shine on you.